What's up everybody, Drumming Gaming here. So we finally got a good Uncharted 4 story trailer that tells us some more about the characters involved, the locations we can expect and everything like that. And that is only good because we are getting so close to the launch of the game that it was about time we got something like this, right? Uh, anyway, you've seen my live reactions by now. I thought it was absolutely amazing. I just cannot wait. It's only going to be two more months left until we finally can get our hands on the game itself. And yeah, as I said, you know, I personally just cannot wait because this is the game I've been waiting for. For, for what five years now already so um, anyway today I will pretty much be discussing everything that we saw in the trailer I'm not gonna go scene by scene and literally talk about every single thing that we can see but just overall the impressions I got the things I want to talk about the most I also asked you what you thought was most interesting about it so I just wrote down a couple of key points that I will be talking about about this trailer let's first of all before we really get into the story heavy part which is what the trailer really is all about um, you know just talk about the environments we saw way more open uh, areas, big areas with, you know, more exotic, I guess, locations. And really, a lot of it also reminded me of that artwork that we saw very recently that I also made a video about. But overall, all I can say about it is that, yeah, you know, and we, we saw that already with the E3 demo and everything like that. The areas are way bigger and it seems like you have more freedom and freedom where you want to go. Although that's technically not really the case, you know, they're always still going to steer you in a certain direction. In itself, you know, Northrog is just trying to widen everything up a bit. So you have that feeling that you're actually exploring this certain, you know, part. And I only think that's great because everything we saw so far has been, you know, pointing us towards that. And if you look at these, you know, big areas with animals walking around and stuff, Madagascar looks beautiful yeah just you know just looks amazing and also what we saw is a diving level we saw drake literally diving underwater which is what many people found very interesting and of course you know uh, the the whole atlantis kind of plot is what uh, people have requested for quite a while already and it seems like we're finally gonna kind of get there you know with these uh, certain you know diving parts although it does look pretty uh, weird to me in the way that drake is not wearing any kind of suit or something like that so uh, he is of course very limited in what he can do so it makes me wonder, is this just a cutscene? Is this actually a level you can play? Um, and what is that gameplay going to look like? You know, if Drake is just in his normal clothes or whatever, then he obviously can't stay on the water for too long. So uh, it makes me, you know, wonder what kind of that is going to look like. Anyway, let's now get into the really story-heavy parts, uh, which is arguably, of course, the most interesting thing about a story trailer. Um, it immediately starts us off with more young Drake and also young Sam this time around. In Uncharted 3, we uh, were of course already introduced to young Drake, but there was no Sam to be to be seen anywhere, and we never really knew that Nathan Drake had an actual brother, you know. And it seems to kind of continue from that here, where uh, they're they're slightly older, I think, than in Uncharted 3 for sure. Um, and yeah, they're pretty much you know kind of already together, going on this um, you know going on this I guess uh, 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 adventure that they have. You know, they have a certain artifact in mind that they wanted chase and that is of course also where the big moment is going to happen that Sam gets shot where Drake thinks Sam actually dies um, what I actually found a small little detail that I thought was very very cool is that um, Sam seemed to have literally the same kind of haircut and the same kind of clothes that Nathan Drake use you know always kind of wears right now so what it makes me think is that you know when Sam actually dies in the game and this will arguably or I think this will probably be um, you know the introduction to the game right these are going to be the very first levels, at least in a way. Um, when Sam dies, I feel uh, Drake feels, of course, so bad about that, that I think he is going to take over his haircut and his clothing style, kind of to remember Sam. That is, I think, how it all started. If you look at, you know, everything we saw so far from young Drake and young Sam, you can really tell Sam looks like what Drake looks like right now. So that is pretty funny, in my opinion. Um... Uh, second of all, you know, we see Ray finally. I already talked about this as well. Of course, we have Nadine Ross who plays one of the villains, the black female character in the game. Um, but the main villain is actually going to be a guy called Rafe that we don't really know too much about. And we finally saw him in this trailer with his, um, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, just in a way that we know what he looks like right now. And what is interesting to me about Rafe is that he seems to be a different villain from everything that we've gotten so far. If you look at Navarro and... Um, 
uh, Roman, Lazarovich, you know, these are all very, very aggressive villains that would want Drake to, or that would just want Drake dead, really. And Rafe, in a way, wasn't like that, where he literally talks about it in the trailer, that he says to Drake, you have a choice now to either back off and just, you know, leave us and we'll leave you alone as well, or we're going to end it right here. Which makes me just feel that Rafe, um, you know, treats Drake in a different way. He's not really all about you know needing him dead or something like that he just wants the treasure for himself he's still a very selfish person obviously but uh, he does give him that choice which also makes me think there is some kind of backstory there with uh, uh, with Drake and maybe also with Sam involved uh, I would definitely not be expected if we will see Rafe as well in the young Drake and young Sam um, you know parts of the game so um, yeah I think that is super super interesting now here is the big thing, I think, the biggest thing about the trailer in itself, to me, is that we see a character that is looking to be Drake and Sam's father, and that is, I mean, we don't know that, it's not confirmed in any way, we just see this old guy that looks completely like uh, Sam, actually, he looks completely the same, has the same kind of, uh, you know, uh, clothing style as well as him, I guess, uh, with a beard, with grey hair and everything, also with a slight foreign accent, which is, which is pretty interesting, but that could be kind of like related to the whole Colombian thing, where Drake was also put in a Colombian... Uh, um, uh, what's it called? Yeah, anyway, well, you know, in, in, his, in his past he used to be in Colombia, right? So maybe that's kind of what the accent is from. I don't, I don't really know about that. Of course, Drake's mother, um, we, we found out about that in Uncharted 3, Drake's mother committed suicide and his father pretty much left the two of them. Um, at least it seems right now the two of them, right? We don't really, we, we only really knew at that point that he left Drake at some point. Um, so maybe he's going to be completely reintroduced here and it would very much seem like, yeah, this is Nathan Drake's father actually in the game who also is easily you can tell voiced by Robin Atkin Downs um, who is a very popular voice actor that has appeared multiple times in Uncharted games he voiced uh, Navarro he voiced Talbot so yeah you can clearly tell that uh, Robin Atkin Downs is voicing Drake and Sam's father in the game which is interesting because you know due to having that accident stuff he sounds completely the same as Navarro does at the same time but you know there's many theories right now about what his character is exactly going to be um, he also seemed to have been, you know, in a jail or something like that. It seemed like he was finally freed from that, maybe. And that's why he pretty much says, are you ready to seek your fortune? But anyway, many theories, as I said, about that one right now. Um, and we can't really all piece it all together. That's what I also love about this, is that even though North Dog has thrown so many things at us that make us very excited, they still aren't clearing up anything. And there's many, many question marks to be, um, you know, to be ahead of us that we can actually solve ourselves once we finally play the game in two months. Um, a final thing that I quickly want to address which people brought up to me is that yeah Chloe and Cutter are still missing from this trailer which makes it very easily to or easy to think that they might actually not appear in the game whatsoever and of course that is actually very likely I would not be surprised if they don't end up in the game at all I do think their storyline deserves some closure uh, especially Chloe you know who has appeared in two out of the three games we got so far you would expect them to maybe still pop up in a cutscene somewhere or hopefully in a level or two, I don't really know, but I wouldn't be surprised. It really seems that the focus right now is on Drake, on Sully, on Elena, the main crew, uh, and the new you know characters that have been introduced, like the villains and Sam and Nathan Drake's father, of course. It's going to be more personal to them. It's going to be the closure that we all want to the characters that we care the most about. And let's be honest, Chloe and Cutter aren't really a part of that that much. Definitely not Cutter. Chloe is in a way, but you know not as much as the original trilogies. Uh, you know. Know, Sully, Elena and Drake so I wouldn't be surprised if they only show up in the game maybe in a cutscene or something or maybe even if they they are completely left out and that is that's definitely a, a bit disappointing I guess I would like them to return and to have that closure but yeah we're just gonna have to wait and see anyway there are as I said just so many theories right now and things that people are talking about that I still find it very hard to piece everything together and to really talk about what I think this all means um, but for now it is definitely some food for thought and things that are very interesting to speculate about so let me know what you thought about the trailer in the comments, of course. And for now, hope you enjoyed the video. So thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you again next time.